All right, here it is, the Day Spring Planner that Candace Cameron Bure created. It's her newest one. It's the fitness wellness journal, not to be confused with the other fitness wellness journal she created. Uh, this is the latest and greatest. So, oh, oh, it got a little ruined in the bubble wrap, but all right. So we have Healthy in the Hustle, an inspirational wellness journal from Candace Cameron Bure. Has a pretty purple background and a photo of her and some more packing stuff. So I'm going to squeeze this in so you can see a little bit more. This was $16.99, so super cheap. It just came out on November 30th. It is hardbound, but it's like a... I shouldn't say hardbound because this is a soft cover, but it's bound, so there is no spiral, which we all know I do prefer spiral, but it had such a pretty cover, and I really am a huge fan of Candace Cameron Ray, so I was going to buy it no matter what binding it had. Uh, so we have a quote from her. There will never be another woman who owns the look, the personality, and the experience that you do. Those ingredients make up the recipe that defines who you are, and it's your gift from the Lord Own It. And this is not, uh, just so you know, gold foiling, but it has what I always call, I have a video where I teach you how to do gold foiling using Adobe InDesign. And it's really just to put gradients in the colors. And some people were like, but it's not real. I'm like, yeah, the only way to get real gold foiling is with a printer. Um, this just kind of mimics it, but that's okay. It's still pretty. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. So a little note from Candice Cambrai, and it looks like you can scan to get um, more stuff from her. How to use this journal, walking with Jesus. Uh, so we have a quote from the Bible and we have walking in wonder. Before you start your day, always be willing to take another step forward. And that's a quote from her. And then what, write Colossians 1 through 10 before below. Look back at the beginning of the section or look it up in your Bible. Okay. So she's given you Colossians uh, 1 through 10. Oh, she's giving me 1 through 9 to 11. Uh, 1 through 10 below. Look at the back of the beginning of the section. Am I crazy? Am I, I could be. I could be crazy. But I think this is 1, 9 to 11, but it's asking you to write 1, 10. So you, I, you would need to use a Bible. Um, but I feel like everyone has a Bible. Or maybe I only have a Bible because I went to a Catholic college. But I don't know. We've always had a Bible in our house. Um, I don't know that we read it a lot, but uh, are you a walker? What do you like or most or like least about going on walks? Where do you like to walk? Uh, fill in how much energy you're starting your week with. Are you running an empty or starting with full power? Well, that's cute. It's like a little battery symbol. And then it has a scale one to 10 down here at the bottom with a smiley face and a not so smiley face. Uh, and I like the pretty colors. So she's looks, it looks like she's using all those colors. Oh, I don't know. I guess orange is new. Uh, before you end your day, did you get a walk-in? Okay. So they're really big with walking, which totally makes sense. That's something everyone could do no matter where you are. And okay, so we have another one before you start your day. Uh, walks. What helps you focus on your walks? Okay, so we have all new questions. And oh, draw a picture of who you are on the move. Oh, no, I cannot draw. I would never do this. That would be awful. Okay. Uh, this person walks with God. I know this because. And then uh, what motivates you to get up and move? Okay, so we're talking about moving and oh, walking again. And then the end of the day. Okay, so I think this might be a uh, Candace quote here, Bible quote on the right. So it could just be a rinse and repeat, I think. Okay, so are these, I'm going to guess this is like seven days. Nope, this is more than seven days. Is that more than seven days? Why can't I count? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have seven days. Then we have a weekly check-in. And then we have another weekly check-in, or I guess the second page of the weekly check-in with some check boxes. We have personal, powerful personal prayer. So another quote from the Bible, um, another uh, just little note here. And then before you start your day, I like to think of prayer as conversation with my best friend. This morning I want to pray for, okay. So it looks like each week has a theme. So clearly walking was the week, the theme for last week. This one is prayer. Um, and then it looks like all the same questions. Yeah. Same format. And then that <laughs> never drawing a picture picture. And then, um, uh, prayer, pray, and then asking you one through 10. 
morning and evening. And then once we get to the end of the week, we do another check-in. So it looks like it's kind of the same. How fun was that? What got in the way this week? And another second page of check-ins. I'm guessing these are pretty much the same, but just slightly altered for praying versus walking. Let's do, let's do a comparison. What? How did walking help you grow closer to God this week? Have you? How have you walked by faith this week? Okay, so the questions are different, but you still get, it looks like the same number of questions. Um, the need to read. All right, so now we have reading. So it looks like healthy in the hustle, inspirational wellness. So it sounds like this is focusing on tons of different aspects of wellness, um, not just, for some reason, I thought it was gonna be more fitness focused. I guess because she's like always very, like fit and active um, on her Instagram channel. And let's see, this probably has questions about that week's focus. Um, reading the Bible. Yep, it's all about reading. And then we have food. Okay, so food for thought. And then before you start your day, how do you feel it's talking about the food? What changes will you make for tomorrow? So it really doesn't tell you what you have to do, right? So let's read this quote. There will never be another woman who owns a look. Okay, that's the same quote from the beginning. Um Oh, here we go. It's great to lose weight and keep our bodies healthy and strong, but it's also important that we appreciate who we are today with or without extra pounds. Um, okay, what do you love to eat for breakfast? How much time do you have in the mornings for your breakfast? What is a realistic way for you to use breakfast as a way to get fueled? Okay, so we're talking all about breakfast. We have that picture of yourself again. Uh, what are the goals for using this journal when it comes to food? So I feel like there's not a lot of direction um, this is more just, I guess, reflection and just kind of how things are. I don't know. I'm not sure what I was expecting, um, but this was not it. And not like in a bad way. I mean, this is clearly undated unless you focus on something new every every week. And then, okay, beautiful, satisfying water. All right, so we're going to talk about getting some water in. Um, what do you usually do when you feel thirsty? Uh, let's read one of these. David, who was a shepherd, wrote Psalm 23. In verse 2, how does he use water to describe God's care for him? Oh, all right. Um, so let's just skip ahead to the weekly check-in. All right. So let's just go through. I will just quickly tell you what the focus is for each week. Strength from within. So this sounds like more of a mental uh, exercise. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. How will you exercise during a... Okay, so I guess it's external strength. Um, how can you build an exercise today? Uh, think about other people. If you were at your healthiest, what would you look and feel like? Oh, don't think about other people. Uh, how can you celebrate the way God made your body today? With each passing day, have you felt more or less motivated to exercise? Why? All right, so that was exercise. The next week is grateful in the growing and this morning I'm grateful for. Okay, so it's gratitude. And then the week after that is saying yes to what's best. Ecclesiastes. Oh, that's the famous one. For everything, there is a season. Um, I do love that quote from the Bible. Uh, what activities and relationships will take you take up your time today? What, uh, Which of these activities and relationships are going to be most life-giving and why? A culture of yes. All right. And then the next week is love well, serve well. Oh, Galatians. Um, I like that quote too. She got some really good Bible quotes. I don't know if she, I don't think she picked them out. I think someone picks them out for her. Uh, how could you grow in your love for your friends? How do your friendships reflect you? How do your friends reflect God's character? Okay. So this is all about friends. And then I think this is the last one. Uh, less stress, more rest. Uh, how rested do you feel this morning? Think about the day ahead. Uh, how do you think God would respond to these fears? Write a prayer using asking God to take these fears away. And I think that's it. And then we have a reflection for physical, mental, spirituality. And another page of that. And want to know more about Candace And... We are at the end. Did you like that? I actually really like this, even though it didn't seem like I was really excited by it. Um, it's, I mean, construction wise, I don't enjoy writing in these bound books. However, this one seems to lay pretty flat, like as far as bound books go. Let's go towards the back. Obviously, it will be harder towards the end. 
yeah. And it's probably harder towards the beginning, but that's just the nature of these. Oh, actually, the beginning is not too bad. Probably because this book is kind of like at an angle, the way the the um, the binding works. So, oh, look at that. There was a bookmark. How did I, I didn't even see that. Like that's the one good thing you can do with these is you can always stick a bookmark into the binding and have it come over. So this can help you kind of just track where you are. All right, so I feel like this would be a good like morning journaling activity if you're someone, one, who likes to journal and two, wants to focus on wellness and do it in a Christian inspirational way. So let me know what you thought. I think this was super affordable at $16.99. So even if you weren't sure, it wouldn't be, it might be something to check out. All right. Remember, if you would like to create your own planner, make sure to sign up for my free course, Planner 101. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I'll talk to you later. <music>